Are you looking for gaming laptops on a tight budget? You're not out of options. Check out these best gaming laptops under $600 for budget gaming. While it's true that you'll need a gaming PC if you want to play the most demanding games, what happens when your budget can't cover one? You're not out of luck. PC gaming hasn't neglected its mobile cousins, and PC manufacturers have caught on to the more mobile gaming market. I've covered a few of the best gaming laptops under $600 here, plus some specs you should look for. Read on. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order so be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss anything. Number 1. Asus TUF Gaming F15, Best Overall. The TUF Gaming F15 is the best gaming laptop under $600, and that's because it's perfectly equipped for playing games and smoking the competition. This affordable gaming laptop features an H-series Intel Core i5 chip and an NVIDIA graphics card that delivers stable and speedy performance in all games. Speaking of speed, this gaming laptop comes with a 144Hz screen that will let you win matches before your enemies can react. However, note that it doesn't have lots of stock RAM. Despite only having 8GB of RAM, the TUFF15 can be upgraded easily, thanks to Asus' easy upgrade design. With a few tools, you can upgrade your memory and SSD storage. If you want to project your games onto a larger screen, this device has one USB-C port that's up to the job. Beware if you need this device for portability. Clocking in at almost 8 pounds, this is not a light laptop. Number 2. MSI GV15 – Best Value Coming in at number 2 is this Full HD Laptop from MSI. The GV15 is a svelte device packed with a high-powered Intel Core i5 chip. With six high-performance cores and a boost clock speed of 4.5 GHz, you'll be loading up your games in no time. You also won't be left wanting USB ports with this machine. You'll be perfectly connected with a USB-C and HDMI port, plus an Ethernet port. One thing I dislike about the GV15 is the placement of its charging port. It's smack in the middle of the laptop's left side, which makes for a messy A desk setup. You'll also want to adjust this laptop's fan settings. They tend to flare up like a jet engine at the slightest thing, so this laptop isn't ideal for use in libraries or classrooms. Number 3. Asus VivoBook F515 – Best Budget Pick Next up is the VivoBook F515. In a first for these laptops, this laptop is a touchscreen device that can also do some light gaming. Once you get past its flat design, this laptop's a capable machine. Packed with 12GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD, the F515 can deliver steady performance and fast load times. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. This limits the games you can play on it, but it'll run the classics like CS, Go and GTA V at a nice and even 30 frames per second just fine. A nice bonus to this device is its keyboard. Asus keyboards are all pretty standard, but the F515 has a pleasantly tactile and decent keyboard for the price. Number 4. HP Pavilion. This HP laptop cuts a fairly plain figure, but its subtlety appeals to me. It's a desktop replacement size device that's no nonsense. If the screen size didn't tip you off, this isn't exactly a compact laptop. Based on my recommendations down below, the HP Pavilion isn't a very portable laptop. The Pavilion's lack of portability is compensated for by its screen size and brightness. This laptop runs at a pleasantly bright 300 nits and has 17.3 inches of real estate for your games. It's also equipped with 16 gigabytes of RAM under the hood, so you won't have trouble running your games. The only caveat is the lack of a GPU. Without a discrete GPU, you can expect to run games on more modest settings with the pavilion. It may look blurry on its massive screen, but I'd recommend lowering the resolution for better results. Number 5. Lenovo IdeaPad 5i Pro. Now while this doesn't have the parts to rival a Lenovo IdeaPad for gaming, this laptop is still perfectly capable of some light gaming and other tasks. That's thanks to the IdeaPad 5i Pro's entry-level MX250 GPU. I can't mention the GPU while ignoring the processor. 
This laptop packs an 11th Gen H series Intel Core i5, designed to deliver more performance. While you're plugged in, you'll be able to draw out more power and performance for your device. You may also find an AMD Radeon Vega-equipped model with comparable performance. Regardless of which variant you pick up, you'll get a well-designed device with just enough power to run the game of your choice, at least once you lower the settings a little. I love this laptop's chassis. This device has a sleek metal build that offers a 4-in-1 SD card reader, an HDMI port, and more ports than you'll know what to do with. There's a configuration of this laptop that has 1TB of storage space, but this bumps up the price by a fair amount. The 512GB you get out of the box is decent for casual gaming. Number 6. Gigabyte U4. The Gigabyte U4 is unlike other laptops in the Gigabyte family because it's a middle ground device. Typically, Gigabyte focuses on its two major lines, Aeris and Aero. A laptop from the Aeris and Aero lines will often have a dedicated graphics card and be priced accordingly. Still, they're specialized devices for content creation or extreme gaming performance. In contrast, the U4 is like the other laptop in the family, this lightweight sub-notebook can do light tasks or play games on the side. This laptop is equipped with Intel Iris X graphics, like the advanced version of Intel UHD graphics, you can play games at a pretty good frame rate on the U4 UD. The UD's got good connectivity too, with a micro SD card reader and two USB-A ports however, there are two small issues I have with this laptop. Number 7. Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The IdeaPad line is held in high esteem because they're affordable and reliable. But now and then, a standout device like the IdeaPad 314 comes around, and Lenovo's popularity is justified. At 14 inches, the screen size is standard, but its strength lies in its bezels. They're slim and discreet, letting you enjoy more of the screen regardless of what you're doing. The bezels also let you take advantage of the display's wide viewing angles, so you don't have to worry about sitting in the right spot while using this IdeaPad. The IdeaPad 314 delivers great bang for your buck with its processors, featuring an AMD CPU and AMD Radeon Vega graphics. Number 8. Acer Aspire Vero. The Vero is a technological innovation from Acer that's also capable of running less demanding games. The Aspire Vero is Acer's offering of an environmentally conscious design. With a chassis made from 30% recycled plastic and 50% recycled plastic keycaps, you'd be forgiven for thinking that the Vero's chassis feels flimsy or shoddily constructed. However, this laptop defies expectations with its sturdy body that feels fresher than its parts. Its internals are just as robust as its externals, too. This fully Intel-equipped device has a strong processor and perfectly decent graphics. You can do some low-impact gaming on this device with no problems. I found two small points against the Vero, both related to power at first. This laptop doesn't have a charging light, so you can't tell whether it's charging or not. Second, its battery life isn't that special considering its specs. Battery life isn't an issue if you're not traveling often, but it's still essential. A low-budget laptop is normally a cause for concern. After all, you get what you pay for, right? Not with these devices. While they may not have the raw power that a more premium laptop can offer, these gaming laptops under $600 are great whether you want to watch movies or do some basic gaming. Don't get lost among all the Intel Core i5 and AMD Radeon Vega devices. Find a gaming laptop that fits your budget. If you guys like this video or learn something please give it a like and be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video that's all till next time.